So let's take a look at how weapon damage works in Ready or Not. The first thing you want to do is to check what ammo is in your weapon. You can do that by going to the magazine selection and it displays it here. And I've tested all of this in-game without any data mining, so I'm using my own terminology here based on what I've um, observed in the game. There appears to be three different armor classes for NPC. The first one, I call it the Black West or the Light West, is this one, those two screenshots. This West has a distinct um, dark, almost black color, I think, depending on the light, and it has no pouches. Then there's the Blue West or the Medium West. It has a distinct blue color, and it comes in variations. Um, sometimes they have these pouches, sometimes they don't, but they have a distinct blue color, and I call this the medium vest. Then there's the what I call the heavy vest, which I didn't test in, in my damage testing because it's an extremely rare vest for, to wear for NPCs, and I simply don't have the time to track them down and test every ammo type on them. So I didn't test this one. Also, there's a fourth vest type, which looks very tactical, and uh, but it's not. Like, it's the nightclub vest that the terrorists are wearing. It's a brown vest, and it has only the same protection level as the dark vest. And now let's look at the damage. So here's how I read the chart. Shots is how many shots are required to kill a character with it. And those are center of mass shots. And the fewer bars a caliber has, the better it is. The faster it will take out the target. But we're just glancing at this chart from a distance, you can tell that um, the classic pistol calibers, like 9mm, 10mm, 45, even 357s, they have serious issues with getting through the light or the, the blue vest. So on average, it would take you like four times the shots than it would take you by using rifle calibers. With the exception being the 57 AP, which uh, for all purposes is basically rifle caliber in this game. Also, I wanted like to uh, mention damage scaling when shooting unprotected limbs. Uh, it, it's crazy weird. Like um, you can shoot six armor-piercing 357 rounds into a character's leg before he drops dead, and with shotgun slugs, it's about the same six seven shots. So altogether, the most um, I think the, the best weapon selection in this game currently is just using rifle calibers with AP rounds. Because the limit, you have a limited amount of ammo you can carry in your main weapon in this game. Because you need about four to five times more uh, shots with a submachine gun than you would need with a rifle caliber. 